Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. Today we have in front of us, you'll see a set of tires, a solvable acetone, and basically a, maybe a cookie sheet or even a cake pan. What we're going to do today, I'm going to show you with acetone how to basically unglue your tires. When you want to reuse your rims itself, uh, but your tires are toast. And I don't know if you can really see it, but these guys here are really done. Instead of just throwing away the rim itself, we're going to just replace the physical tire. Now, before I show you anything else, if you are underage, please ask your parent or a supervisor. A supervisor. Sorry about that. <laughs> Somebody to supervise you because uh, the acetone is corrosive and poison. I just want to make sure you're aware and the other thing too with doing this method uh, basically your foam inside will be ruined too. The only thing we want to be able to save is the tire itself. <clears throat> and one other thing you could do too is wear gloves and do not do this inside the house. I'm outside right now in my backyard uh, and I have an old piece of plywood. I'm not using something that physically can be destroyed. Now you can use a smaller container. I just got this at the dollar store. Yes, it's probably going to be ruined after. What we're going to do is basically put about a quarter of an inch and we're just going to put the tires inside of it and let it uh, soak. I have more here. I'll put them all in one shot. Might add a little bit more in here. And now it becomes a waiting game. It's basically, it could take up to 10 to 15 to even up to 20 minutes per side. Um, now, there's a thing I, I heard people do, basically grab a, an X-Acto and just cut around here and remove the middle part. One way or another, it, it becomes the same thing. Uh, but yes, if you do want to cut these sides, the side out and leave just the side walls in the acetone itself, yes, you can. It's a preference choice to this point here. Now the acetone has started changing color. That's a little bit normal. I think it's because of the dirt. It is clay. And again, I can't really say this enough. Don't do this inside. Please do this outside. Because even right now I'm outside. I still smell the fumes. And now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to pause this video. You guys won't see the difference. And once these are ready to come out. I'll, uh, I'll come back and uh, show you the rest. Okay, I'm back. I hope it wasn't too long. <laughs> uh, basically, it's been roughly about, I would say, maybe 20 minutes uh, that I left them soaked. And once in a while, what I basically did, and I just went and, and squeezed them. I want them to absorb the uh, acetone. That way, the glue can the glue but the acetone can seep in and undo the glue uh, one of the things I did I took this one out and if you can see it I was able to unglue it completely now what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna grab one one for the bin and basically show you uh, how I did it now for this step, I am wearing gloves. Would be preferred if you had the nitrate uh, gl gloves, because after a while and the, the acetone will eat these ones I have on me. 
and basically what I'm doing here I'm just physically pulling on the tire itself I'm just going around and until I physically able to unglue it and I'm just physically barely really pulling on it because you really want to take it off and sometimes you will rip sometimes you'll even leave some on it what I'm going to do again I'm going to put it back in the acetone itself sometimes it can take more than 15 20 minutes it can take even up to a half an hour grab the other try the other guy here too even this one here one corner is able to do it they're very well glued there there we go wow even sometimes like I said you will have residue of of the tire itself on the rim but if you can see right here there's not much that we need to clean off what you can do once is this part here you can leave it back in the acetone a bit and then grab a small uh, pick small scraper even an exacto blade and slowly remove what doesn't need to be there now again once I have to this point I'll do this side put them in the acetone again that's what I did with this one here and basically this is what you need to do uh, it's not an exact science on the time and the other thing too you have to be careful sometimes you will do this and will melt your rim but it's hard to say exactly I hate to say it if you guys have any co comments or questions post down below I'll be glad to answer you guys and if you did like this video don't forget to hit that uh, give it a thumbs up should I say and if you want to be notified next time I upload a video hit that bell notification in that corner and you'll be notified next time I upload thank you for watching